everyone, it's the 1st of December. Welcome to my sewing room. This is the episode I show you my Christmas jumper I made from my favourite 6388 Butterick, which I'm also wearing a different version. Welcome to Hashtag Friday Sews, which was started by the wonderful Jen from Today and Jen's sewing room. Um, putting us all together in one place on the weekend so you can see what we've been sewing, making, and what we've been doing in our lives. Thank you, Jem, for starting such a wonderful hashtag. Now, I've hidden myself in the corner of my sewing room today because if you could see what I'm looking at, the other side is ridiculously messy. It's been very busy, but it's not only my mess this week, which is amazing. It's also my daughter's mess. <laughs> I can't believe it. So um, yeah, I'll talk more about that later. But what I wanted to show you first was my Christmas jumper that I have made, Christmas themed jumper I have made using Butterick 6388. Now this is also a version I'm wearing here. I'm wearing it today because it has been so cold in the UK today. It's been bitter. Now I live on the south coast of England and we have actually had a sprinkling of snow, which is quite unheard of. Um, I'll show you now. Yeah, that, that deep, I could write my name in it. <laughs> but yeah, it has been freezing today. So I thought as I was gonna show you my Christmas version, I would also show you this version that I made last year out of a sweatshirt. Now, I absolutely love this pattern because I don't really like a high neck on me, whereas this has kind of got breathing room here. It's cozy on the neck at the back, but it gives me kind of a breathing and swallowing room, which is perfect. I've also made the dress version with the pockets, uh, but this just has these strange side triangles. Um, yeah, I'll show you my Christmas jumper now. What do you think? It's uh, just green and snowflakes and the irony of me finishing this and it's snow today is, is crazy. So it's in a lovely green sweatshirting, but if you look closely at the fabric, it looks, it's pretend to look, it's um, a digital print, so it looks kind of as if it's knitted. Um, oh, it's so cozy, honestly. It's lovely. It's got these um, strange side triangle bits here. I don't know if you can see that which I have top stitched. And at the back, it has this kind of rounded yoke here. So cozy. I absolutely love it. And it's just gonna be my Christmassy jumper. So I've also been making this week, um, busy on the gift boxes that I'm going to give. So these, I've got two sets of two here. So I'm going to, I did, did show it in my gift in November, but I've kind of created these boxes here with the help of um, a tutorial I found on So Very Easy, because I'm a huge fan of Laura's channel. Um, and I kind of adapted it to the size I wanted. So I'm gonna put a little jotter block in that one and then a spare one um, to put whatever they want in that one. So I'm gonna give those as sets and maybe try and find a, a pen that's contrasting. So I made some of those this week as well. You may have seen I put a video up about my fabric wheel of fate where I made one successful thing and one thing that I can wear but I really don't like and <laughs> judging by quite a few of your comments you weren't that keen either but it doesn't matter it's going to be a pair of trousers for just lounging in the house or doing jobs. So what happened when I spun the wheel again, if you didn't see the video, was that I cheated a little bit and I only did a small segment for the fabric that I really didn't want to make up at this time of year. Fine for spring, summer, but not the moment. And lo and behold, I got the fabric. So this is one of the things I should be working on um, in the next week or so. It's a viscose crepe jersey. It's about a metre and a half, so I don't think I'll get a dress out of it but hopefully a nice sort of going out top. Now, I have received some happy mail in the post and I am absolutely thrilled. This has come from Florida, um, as all the best parcels do, and it's from the wonderful Deb from Deb's Way. Um, now, Deb's 
been she's done a few videos recently but not too many as because she's been very very busy with her puppy that she bought this year deb is the most beautiful lady i have met her twice now um, i met her this year and i met her last year she's a very generous lady she makes me giggle she's just wonderful her sewing is great um but she's got lacks in confidence a little bit like me but she really shouldn't because she's very very good at what she does and she's she produces amazing things anyway i'll put a link to her channel before be down below because hopefully she will be putting a video out soon but thank you deb um i opened it a little bit had a quick peek but i thought i'd share some of the things with you because it's very full i've got a christmas card but i'm not going to open that yet because um it's not christmas quite yet She's sent me a piece of fabric and she said, can you make something pretty with this? Look at this, it's a beautiful lace. Now, I don't know what, I can't remember what you call it where it's got an edge at the bottom, but it's scalloped edge lace or something. Absolutely beautiful. Now that would look really nice overlaid on um, a sort of a dress for going out or something, but oh, that's super. Thank you so much, Deb. And then I've got all these little bits and bobs. Look, I'll show you. It's so cool. She's given me a hilarious ginger, ginger man minis, not gingerbread minis, ginger man minis. In this lovely little box, which I'm thinking, a bag, I'm thinking that she's made, is what feels to me like Hershey's Kisses. Yes, they are. Oh, they're like Christmas Santa hat ones. Oh, because the fabric is Christmassy. <laughs> Christmas Santas. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Oh, I got so many bits and bobs. I've got a pin tin with a magnet. <gasps> Look at this. Look at that thread. I've never seen anything like that. You have so much more amazing things in America than we do. I put that on the Christmas tree. Some candy canes amazing boys are gonna love those i've got what else have i got so this is christmas a little jotter oh i need paper all the time around me just give me now this i was really interested in a chaco liner pen for easy marking i think you i've seen other people use it before so i'm really intrigued because i very rarely find a chalk marker that works so i'm really excited for that one never seen that one before oh look at this it's a wrist pin cushion um i'm gonna say aubergine a little aubergine isn't that cute oh but it's just like a so much goody little box oh gosh what else have we got oh look at this this little charm and it's got pattern and it's got little dress patterns on there that's amazing i love that that's so cute and right at the bottom we have now sorry if i'm rustling a composition notebook a sewing one but this intrigued me because it squares what do i do with squares that's some do I draw out a pattern on there? Isn't that cool? Oh, look at all those sewing machines on the back. Oh, honestly, it was a little box of treats. Thank you. Oh, I got a sewing studio sticker. I have been there 50 years. I have been there. Thank you so much, Deb. Really generous of you. Just amazing. Thank you very much. Now, I've not been the only one in my sewing room this week. I've had my daughter, Katie, who's taken a sudden interest in sewing, which is amazing, but I'm treading very gently. Um, she's just doing what she wants to do at the moment, and that is Disney ears. Now, she's made these for me. We're going to Disney um, just before Christmas. Um, my One of my grandsons is three, so we're going to Disneyland Paris there, and she's making ears for us all. So bear in mind, she's, oh, she did some sewing in school, but to be honest, I did most of her work for her when she used to bring it home. So she's more or less a beginner. 
and she's been making these ears so she's sewn these bits on and the rest is kind of hand sewn or glued so she's done an excellent job and I'll put in a picture of all the ones she has made in the last week. She's just been ear crazy. She has a brilliant talent for putting two fabrics together and with the right combination, something that I don't possess. So I'm really pleased with her. Obviously, she can't make endless Disney ears, so I'm trying to now encourage her to make a few things she saw one of these boxes in my room and I said, oh, you could do that really easily. And she picked out two fabrics. I said, go on, you can do it. We'll do it in about half an hour. So she did, she made one. I haven't got it because she's got it at home, but it was really good and she did it and she was so pleased with herself. So I'm not gonna push it too much, but yeah, she has really enjoyed sewing with me in the sewing room. In fact, she's taken away one of my uh, machines with lots of bits and bobs. So she's been sewing at home. This is my dream. So yeah, as I said, gently, gently, I'm not gonna push too much, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. The downside to having Katie in my room is that I had a few things lying around that were for her for Christmas. Um, one of the other things I made this week was a pair of pajamas for her, uh, Simplicity 9337 in this wonderful fabric here which she actually saw which was a bit of a shame but I know she'll love it it's got our favorite piglet on it and um, as you know I've made this uh, pajama pattern so many times now really quick to run up and we both agree it is the most comfortable pajamas that we've got I make the t-shirt top and the bottoms but even with two meters of fabric there's not enough to do the pockets. So I only tend to buy two meters. So yeah, I'm really pleased with those. Now I'm gonna be busy with this fabric next week. Uh, it's um, a sweatshirt fabric, fleece back sweatshirt. And I've got to make two sweatshirts for the boys in. Um, I made a couple recently, but I've actually got to size up for both of them. Um, so this will be for our Disney trip, but yeah. I'm not going to be glum, am I, sewing with this? These happy faces should keep me going next week. Now, we had a wonderful weekend away. Um, we hired a uh, static caravan. Um, that's quite an old-fashioned term. I can't... A holiday caravan up on a caravan site which was on a cliff edge. I'll put some photos at the end. It was stunning. Um, Saturday was beautiful the sea looked like the mediterranean it was still it was blue it was stunning the day was lovely warm enough to even sort of sat outside sheltered oh having lunch it was lovely sunday was dire it was rainy cloudy miserable but i will put the two photos in of the contrast between the two days but that is england um we were very lucky to have that sunny day on a saturday and we still had a good day on the Sunday and then we came back in the evening and I could get back to sewing again. I So apart from doing these next week, I've also got a pair of pyjamas for myself that I've cut out uh, a couple of weeks ago and still haven't had a chance to do because I've got more gifts to make, more boxes to make for people. It's about that time of year, isn't it? When you start seeing people before Christmas and suddenly these sort of lunches come up on you very quickly and you're not quite sorted. So yeah, obviously, 1st of December into Christmassy things now. Um, I will apologise. Um, you might have noticed my throat is a bit iffy <laughs> in this video because I am suffering with a bit of a cold, but it'll be fine, it'll be fine. But yeah, just apologise if I keep going to cough or whatever. But yeah, it'll all be sorted, that'd be fine. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on Hashtag Friday Sews. Next week, I will be doing hashtag festive Friday sews as well as my normal Friday sews all in one, all on the same day. The lovely Rachel from French Scenes over in Ireland has um, thought up this amazing hashtag Friday, hashtag festive Friday sews. So that would be, we'll, rather than doing Vlogmas, which I love watching Vlogmas, but it's just too much work for me and takes too much time because then. I don't have time to sew and I don't have time to watch everybody else's. So I'll just be updating you on any Christmas things on my hashtag.
festive Friday sews. So thank you, Rachel, for uh, that brilliant idea. It's going to be great fun. So look out for that next week. But until then, have a wonderful weekend, whatever you're up to, and I will see you all shortly. Bye-bye for now.